Shalom. I would like to bring us back to the book of Exodus, and I would like to read from there, chapter 19, Amen. verse 12. Just a reminder that uh, Moses on Sinai and the uh, message which word mm. which uh, Lord gave it to him. I will read in Russian and I will read in uh, English. You shall set bounds for the people all around, saying, Be Beware, that you do not go up on the mountain or touch the border of it. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put to death. It's a solemn warning which God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob gave to the Moses. And... Um, mm. He was saying, and I will read in Russian, И проведи для народа черту со всех сторон, и скажи, берегитесь восходить на гору и прикасаться к подошве ее. Всякий, кто прикоснется к горе, предан будет смерти. It is an awesome warning, and uh, uh, this is uh, a holy doing, because in every nation, in, in the whole world, people are looking how to reach God and everybody trying their own way. And uh, it seems for some people there are so many different ways. But God of the Bible very clear stated that uh, it's the only one way how to reach Him. As Yeshua, mm -hmm. when He walked this earth and we, He came in the body through the virgin birth, He said, I am the way. Not ways. I am the way. I am the truth. He was the ultimate truth, which everybody is looking, but he is the one ultimate truth, uh, emb uh, embodiment of the truth, and I am the life. And you see in that awesome warning in Exodus, which we have, the people afraid to approach God, but everybody wanted to have a fellowship with God. And... Uh, the way the uh, the Holy Scripture gave us, we can read. We go. We can go back to First uh, John and read the way the people who saw the Word of God or wisdom of God coming in the flesh, and he said he was writing to the church in Ephesus where he was pastoring for a while just uh, to encourage your mind. And basically in that book he was fighting of uh, the false teaching of so-called Gnostics. But he was uh, really telling what the really knowledge is about. And he said, о том, что было от начала, что мы слышали, что видели своими очами, что рассматривали, что осязали руки наши, о слове жизни. What was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. And the life was manifested, and we have seen and testified and proclaimed to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested to us. And this is о том, что мы видели, что слышали, возвещаем вам чтобы и вы были, имели общение с нами, и наше общение с Отцом и Сыном Его Иисусом. And uh, lower in the uh, second chapter he is saying, кто лжец, если не тот, кто отвергает, что Иисус, еще Хамашия uh, из анти, анти uh, и отвергающий Отца, отвергает и сын, и всякий отвергающий сына не имеет отца, и исповедующий сына имеет отца. So this is he showing the way to the father, to the God who was unapproachable, who told the, uh, Moses to draw a line. But here he is very clearly saying in the verse 22, chapter 2 in 1 John, that who is a liar but the one who denies that Yeshua is a Mashiach. This is an uh, anti mashiach and the one who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son doesn't have 
doesn't have a father. Amen. And the one who confesses the son has a father also. How, tr uh, how clear it is in the scripture. And this is, uh, we really reading the words of eyewitness. As he said, we heard him, we touched him with our hands, we've seen him, we've seen the life, we've seen the word of life, uh, life. we've seen the life came and manifest. And he is the light. He, is, uh, he was an approachable light when he came on the mount of in Sinai, but he was approachable. People uh, and, the, uh, and Yeshua and Jesus walked this earth. And so whoever calls on his name will be saved as uh, uh, in Psalms of David is saying, whoever calls on his name, whoever calls on his name in truth may be saved. And this is the only way which uh, Bible showing to the people how to reach the God who was in is is an approachable light in Yeshua.